Good day and welcome back to my channel. So this is the second and final installment in the 172nd scale Eagle One build. Um, pretty much going through the final assembly details, then the painting, the weathering, the little things that I do. There are a couple of gitches and gotchas, um, not many, just a couple, as you, know, you put the final assemblies and finish putting this together. Um, I then go through how I handled the weathering, how I handled the, the painting and the assembly. Um, it's not the only way. I mean, everybody can do their own process. This is just how I handled it. Um, but I do outline most of that as we walk through. So I'll just go ahead and, and move on there. So I hope you enjoy it. Please, if you have any hints, suggestions, tips, whatever, feel, feel free to put them down below in the comments. You know, I always read them. I just ask to keep them respectful. And uh, yeah, check it out. All right, and let's talk about this assembly for a second. So, unless I'm being totally blind here, right? Um, which I don't think I am. There's putting together of the um, <clears throat> passenger pod, or whatever you call them. And if you look through, like here's doing the, the, the landing pods, right? Then you have the passenger pod. It's no big deal. It really isn't. It's just an annoyance. And I noticed them. It's that part right there, number 60. That right there goes there. So, and interestingly, they are like that. So, those drop in like there. So, yeah, pay attention to those. I'll go put those on. Um, and then I'll start, I'm actually getting to the point where it's time to start thinking about painting. And in so doing, there's something to think about. Um, the, I'm going to mention this, and I apologize for the noise. My dog is playing with her toy. If you look at this, you see the different shades and the different, you know, panel colors, I guess, is really what you want to, I want to call it. Um. They they don't mention the um, yeah, here it is random light gray panels can be added for additional authenticity. So what that means is <clears throat> going back now on the twenty two inch they have they actually have transfers that goes and do, does those, which was quite a process to put on. It was like putting on the stencils for an F4 or something. Um, but for this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint the big flat panel. So this, the landing pods, and the nose in a light gray. And then put small cutouts of, you know, basically like, where's it? Where's my uh, knife? My knife's right here. You know, basically like this. Like tape and then go over like that not exactly like that but you get the idea like a piece goes here um, and just sort of put those all over it's not as tacking because it's not that it's not a pattern but you get the idea and then hit it again with the eggshell white and use that light gray to be the stencil to be the you know basically to use the light gray as a base color Put the stencils over top, so hit it with white, so that when you peel them off, you get the light gray contrasting colors, just to add differential interest before I go back and do, quote unquote, weathering. Other thing, windows here. The other thing I noticed is the windows have, they're just transfers. So if you look at this, right, they're just transfers. There are no frames and I feel like that's just going to look weird so what I am going to do is I will go ahead and put the transfers down and then I'm going to put sprue like a small piece of 
fresh cut whatever and I'm gonna actually build up frames for that okay. just because not having frames is gonna look weird to me all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get these base coated and start on that and move on all right well and that's that much done um I don't know I, I'm kind of me on on the concept of it came out okay so the next step right um got two more assemblies to do well okay I have the steel pieces to do, and I have these pieces to do. So I intent when I did the landing pods, I intentionally left off, left off where you are here, the frame, this piece, right? I intentionally left those off because they're supposed to be gray. The landing gear are also supposed to be gray. So... What I'm going to do is get those assembled, put them, put them together, get them painted. Um, also put the uh, engine bells and you know those things together, <clears throat> and then everything will be in its you know sub assemblies. Which means now I have a decision: um, do I put on the transfers and then weather it, or do I weather it and then put on the transfers? Um, I'm thinking I go ahead and weather it, or I'm sorry, go ahead, put on the transfers, then weather it, and then put the final assembly together. Because as we look at the way this all goes together, if I assemble much more than this, right? If I put this on, then getting to those parts to weather is going to be a pain in the backside. So what I am going to do is figure I will go ahead. Next step is to finish the final pieces that are need that I need to do, get the transfers on, then seal it all, then do the weathering, then put it all together, which is where we're going to go now. All right, so what I have done with the nozzles is hit them with this stuff, AK True Metal, which essentially you put it on and it gets to a pretty high shine, right? And you can see... This was the base coat, and that's what it is with that applied. Now, the other thing about this is then you go back and you polish it, right? And you can kind of see what it looks like now. It's kind of dull. You go back and you polish it up, and it gives you a metallic sheen. And you can see the difference between there and there with what it does once you polish it up. So when you spend time polishing these things, you end up getting a pretty good metallic view. This is actually one of the better metallic um, results that I have seen from many of from many options. Right? I mean there's there's a lot of different ways to do it. There's there's um, oh goodness. I mean there's a whole bunch of you guys you guys who have access to the internet right here in front of me that are sitting there watching me have probably got more knowledge on what options are than than what we what could be, but you can see the difference between the two and how it really ends up with a pretty good metallic sheen. So that will make the nozzles ready. So I'll go ahead and I've got to do all of these to to get them to that level. Um, also do these these um, discs for the. Um, the beak or the, the command module. So we'll get those done. Um, and then we also got to put on all the transfers for the, the basic body, seal them. Then we can start with weathering. So I've been putting off the next step, which is the weathering, I guess, for the Eagle. Now there's all kinds of different ways you can go about it. Um, you can really dirty it up. And and that's a thought, right? That that's one thought I had here was to actually take it to a really, really used and abused level. The models on the show, right, they were clean. Um and the eagle itself was clean. Um and the you, what you've got to do with model with with white is you've got to bring out shading. You've got to force a lot of that uh scaling that's missing from from it in in the white it looks toy like 
So what I did do is I went ahead and I, I finally broke down. I, I got out my oils. Um, yeah, there you go. So um, basically using the Abtylon 502, which one? This one here. Engine grease. So this is what I used. And um, I'm really liking this stuff. Uh, ever since I got this and the White Spirits, I've been really happy with how they've gone on. But I'm going subtle. Now, you've got to kind of go over the top at first to get the shades and to get the shadows. Because you're trying to hint at shadows that don't really exist. Um, well, you're trying to hint at shadows that do exist but don't show up in something of scale. So you're using, you know, blah, blah, blah. You guys get that. So I was going light. Um, some of these are a little darker than I would like. But I did go light on them. I'm going to go back. I'm waiting for the oil to actually dry. And then I will go back with a brush and just clean off the highlights. Now, I do like, you can see, you know, I did hit these panels. I did hit these panels a bit with shade and it breaks up it, it models right so it, it, it breaks up the the overall look to it but once this is done i've got it to the point where it's pretty close to final assembly so i'm going to let this dry off this will probably take a while uh, and then i'll come back to it and i will go ahead and um just seal it down and clean off the clean off the excess then we'll go ahead and uh Put the final thing together so we'll set that aside and i'll be back all right so pretty much done with the weathering um went ahead and put the thruster bottles on the back i did have to use clamps um so right there right essentially they're off um so like you can kind of see this is slightly more narrow, let me rephrase. This assembly is slightly more narrow than this one. Now if I wanted to focus there, there we go. Right, so this slightly more narrow than this, which means these line up, but kind of. Um, they're very, very close. And all I needed to do is I hit it with glue, then use my clamps and those dropped in. So with that, the essentially these are done um what i am going to do is i'm going to go hit it with a bit of matte varnish so that it's it's not the glossy toy look right i'm going to give it a, a matte look um and then we can start assembling the final pieces just putting the final final detail the um i have the like the engine bells off because they're that metallic so put those on after I've matte varnished it etc and then we'll we're gonna be pretty close to calling this one ready to go That gluing done and the last thing that needed to be done 
was screwing on the main passenger pod, which I was able to do. You can kind of see the screws there. Uh, I did go back with those and touch them up with um, some some uh, off-white just to you know, didn't really feel like having them be blatantly screws. I know it was, you know, appropriate for the miniature, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to, yeah. Um, what can I say? I really, really like this kit. I have, I've always been a huge fan of the Eagle itself, um, you know, since 1970 when I first saw them. I think the Eagle is a really cool design, and I have really been ecstatic about the new model offerings that we have so this is just an absolutely wonderful kit i mean let's be fair i have this right that's what's left of one of the first ones i ever did when i was yeah that young um this much survived and i have pieces and parts to do another one but you know i had no idea what i was doing when i was 10 and i was kind of winging it um, didn't have good materials, didn't have anything, but now, now we have that. So this is just awesome. Um, are there things I can do better? Absolutely. Uh, I, I like having the, the transfers that, you know, give you a view into the cockpit. Um, I liked, I don't like that these don't have the transfers, for the different color, colored panels. So the 22 inch Eagle four that I did with the lab pot, it had transfers to sort of increase interest to all of the, the different panel lines and so forth, or not panel lines, but the different flat panels and so forth, different, these different colored things. Um, this did not, this just had simple, now it did have some other details like these orange stripes and so forth. And we are left to interpret, which is cool. And I was not specifically trying to make a copy of a studio kit. So I didn't make a studio kit. I made one that, you know, makes me happy. Um, I did drill out the RCTs, did put in some shading on the, on the black panels as if those RCTs have been fired. Um, I did use the, uh, extreme AK extreme metal on the, thrusters and thrust underneath and on these these things up front center pods i guess whatever front but yeah overall this was this was a kit i had a blast doing it was just complicated enough so with that said i'll go ahead and take some pictures and then put them here at the end and call this project done and move on to whatever is waiting that's next uh so until next time i hope this was a uh, useful entertaining project to watch again anybody who has suggestions hints, queries please feel free to put them down below i'm more than happy to answer them again just please keep them respectful and until next time happy modeling everybody <laughs>